Hey there, do-it-yourself technicians and teachers. Today I want to talk to you about taking emails of student work, especially if it's full of pictures, and saving it as a PDF for later reference. Before I start, I do want to commemorate the fact that today is Anzac Day, where we celebrate all of the servicemen, past and present. Thanks, guys. Several teachers have mentioned that they're getting student work emailed to them, which seems quite logical. That's often the best way students can get work back to teachers, is by taking photographs of handwritten or drawn work, posters, that sort of thing, and emailing it to the teacher. Sometimes they come as attachments, and sometimes they come embedded in the body of the email, like this. If they're attachments, they're pretty easy to work with. You can just save them all off. But when they're in the body, it becomes a bit more of a problem. One way I've found to combat this is to click on each image on its own and then you can right click on it, save that image and then save them all to a folder. Yeah, this is a pain but it gets better, trust me. In this case I've given them all an obvious name like P1, P2, P3 and P4 so that you know which page is which. Once they're all saved you can go to Windows Explorer, right click on the first image and then go to Combine Files in Acrobat. If you don't have this, you probably don't have the full version of Acrobat installed. This is available to all Victorian secondary teachers and in many other places around the world. Anyone with an Adobe Cloud license has access to it. This pops up the page so that you can then drag the other pages in, rearrange the order if you need to, and combine everything into a single PDF that you can keep for that student. Of course, the uses aren't limited just to student work. You can do this with any document that you need to keep. And that's the way I've been combining various pages into a single PDF for some time. But today, while doing this, I actually noticed there's an option within Outlook that might be more useful. When you right click on an email from the main list of emails, the bottom option is Convert to Adobe PDF. This takes a minute or two, but it basically converts the entire email. This may take a little while, especially if they're big images in this, like it is in this case. You now have the entire email in one PDF. That includes the headers, which you can delete if you want. They're really small in this image, but they are there. And you can also go through and edit the document as you please. I thought I'd go through and crop a couple of the images, turn them around the right way, and make it all look pretty. But this is a super easy way to get information from an email into a single PDF that you can store with any other student work that you get. And now I have an assignment for you. What is there about Adobe Acrobat that you use? Or is there something you think it can do that, but you don't know how to do? Let me know in the comments down below. The Tech Doctor exists to help you become your own technician and navigate your technology maze. At the moment we're also focused on helping teachers overcome the stress of delivering remote learning. There's some other videos you may not have seen before here and here. And there's a subscribe button down here that will keep you up to date with all the new episodes as they're released. Thank you so much for watching and have a great day.